Here I've got a tabletop blank that I'm getting ready to cut out into the circle. And to do that, I uh, use the router and my uh, circle cutting jig. This is a project that I did a little bit more than a year ago, and uh, I covered it on my website, but I never did do a, a demonstration video of it. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do that. The normal way to use this jig is to take your blank and make a mark in the center of it and then drill a 1 8 inch hole for this pin to fit in. Then you would set your jig to the radius that you want to route and start routing. Uh, for this particular top I want to do two operations. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to make it round and then um, the second operation that I want to do is I want to move it in a little bit and cut uh, a bit of a detail around the rim. So in order to do that I need to do this operation from the top. And so what I have is I have a piece added to the jig uh, that makes it a bit thicker on the bottom and I have a pivot point that I'm going to stick onto the center of the blank with double sided tape. And that will allow me to route the circle out without making a hole in the top at all. Now I can get my jig in place and set the radius. Find the pin and get it in the hole. And then my router set up. That looks about right, so I'll set that there. Okay, I've set the depth. Uh, the first cut will be about a quarter inch deep. Uh, this stock is about three quarters of an inch thick. So I'm going to do it in three passes. Okay, that's the first pass. Okay, that's the second pass finished. Now all I need to do is set it up to make the final cut. So I moved the blank off the edge of the table and put the router down to check the depth of cut. I'm just going to make an adjustment until I get it exactly where I want it to be. And that's it, the circle is cut. All I need to do is trim this off um, with a knife and then I'll take it over to the router table and trim the rest of it off with a flush trim bit. Alright, as you can see I've cut away the excess on the outside of the top here, uh, just roughly, just with the knife. Uh, I'll trim it up later like I said. Uh, what I'm getting ready now to do is to cut a, a small detail around the edge. Um, I've changed the router bit to a, a V cutting bit or a veining bit, as you can see here, and I've carefully um, set the depth of cut to where I want it. So now that I've got my jig set up again, um, I've got my router set, I'm ready to route in that detail. And that's it. Um, nicely routed detail. Um, I went around it a few times to make sure it was nice and clean. It's still a little bit rough here, but nothing that uh, a little sanding can't take out. Okay, that's it. Um, let's take my centerpiece off here. I'm trying to do it without pulling any wood out. Um, so that's it, uh, that's my 
uh, circle cutting jig and um, to get more detail on this there's a full article on my website at imilla.ca thanks for watching